Hey everyone, welcome back to another Blitzy Live where we check in with you guys once a week to do fun demos and to debut new products that we have for sale. Speaking of debuting new products, this is the Vicki Buten Mixed Media Collection from American Crafts that we have at Blitzy today yeah. and we're going to show you guys all about it, all the products that there are, and how to use them, yeah. right? Yeah, we actually saw this um, when we went to CHA um, this past, what, January, and um, we were kind of perusing and saw Vicki herself there, um, who was talking about the line, and we fell in love because for being mixed media, it feels like it's very kind of bright and colorful and accessible, approachable, approachable. Too. yeah. It's, it's her whole idea behind creating this line was to make it um, very user friendly and kind of an intro into mixed media. You know, and even if you are an experienced mixed media artist or getting started, it literally covers everyone, which is great because anyone can use it. So absolutely, and everything works really nicely yeah. together. Yep. So we're gonna dive in and show you all of that and kind of give you the ins and outs of the Vicky Buten mixed media collection at Blitzy. But before we yeah. do that. If you have any crafty friends, share this on your page. The more the merrier to come into this broadcast. If you have questions, I'll be manning the comments. We'll make sure we get them answered. And let us know in the comments just how you're feeling about mixed yeah. media. If you're a beginner or if you're more advanced, we'd love to know who's here so we can kind of tailor our conversation to that. Yeah. So with that being said, do you want to jump in? Yeah, sure. So I guess we'll start with some of kind of the colorants that are in the line. Um, Vicki created some really pretty acrylic paints um, that she has two different two different sets here. This is kind of the cool set that has your blues, your purple, and your green. And then she also created kind of the warm colors. So you have your red, your orange, your yellow, and your pink. And I just love all the colors because they're so cheery and happy and uplifting. So love the acrylic paints and I used a lot of them for uh, my project. So we'll see them in oh, action yeah. in a little bit. Oh okay, yeah. Cool. And then she also has um, her uh, her art crayons and these are great because you can use them you know, as actual art crayons kind of to give you that texture but you can also use them with water to watercolor which I love a product that has dual purpose and this one you can get a lot out of. So loving the colors and once again kind of in the cool tones here and then the warm tones. So they pair, as Katie mentioned, perfectly with the paints. And then, let's see where will I go next. Um, she has some markers, some of the kind of bright, colorful um, markers here. And then this one, I took one out, but this had white in it. So it kind of has just your you know, neutral, your gold, your black, your white. You always need a gold, a black, you and a always white. always <laughs> need a gold, a black, and a white for adding the extra, kind of anchoring your projects down. Um, so I'll be using the black one a little bit later. Um, and then she has some fun mediums. So she has um, her matte acrylic gel medium, which is great um, for obviously using kind of like a glue or an adhesive or adding a uh, finish to your projects to kind of seal them in. And she has a gesso, which is a must when you're doing mixed media, right? To kind of prep your surfaces, get them ready for your watercolors, your paints, etc. And, then, and I know you're gonna, sorry to interrupt, yeah. I know that you're gonna do a little demo in a yep. few minutes, but what I loved about talking with Vicki at CHA in January was she showed how it's like easy as one, two, one, three. two three, yep. And so we'll show you that in a yep. few minutes, easy as one, two, three to do mixed media. Yep. She, her examples had a lot of scrapbooking, yep. like so carrying over scrapbook layouts into mixed media, but also yep. card making or just mm -hmm. art journals. And that was kind of her thing too, is that she wanted it to be, you know, as Katie mentioned, approachable for any type of crafter. So if you are a scrapbooker, if you're a card maker, if you're into home decor, if you're into art journaling, Literally, it's for everyone. So that was another huge selling point for us when we, we spoke with her that literally it doesn't matter what kind of craft you're into, any of these products will work well with it. Um, so moving along, she also has a silver glaze and we don't have it here, but she has a gold glaze. So it's adding texture and kind of metallic touches to your projects. Um, I've been seeing more and more silver. I know we had gold silver, for a couple really? of years. I'm seeing more silver. People so. are, it's funny how those trends kind of come and go, mm -hmm. right? Like I remember, when we were younger, like silver jewelry was really popular, and then kind of gold came, and everyone was on the gold bandwagon, but it all comes around, right? And rose gold. Rose gold. Now back to silver. Back to silver. Um, all right, so I'm going to jump into some of her stamp and die sets. Um, these are really great because um, they do come with the stamp and the die, so you can obviously stamp and then cut them out. They have some sentiments here. This is obviously a birthday one. 
Um, this is kind of a more generic you could use for your cards or layouts. Gotta and then, have butterflies, and then, right? Gotta have butterflies. And you'll see this throughout her collection. She really likes butterflies. So you'll see this um, in her ephemera pack and in her 12 by 12 paper pad, kind of butterflies throughout. Um, then this is a branch one that has you know branches and leaves and she created this one to actually go along with the flowers so you can add flowers to the branches so these two pair really well together and obviously so do the butterflies you can add a butterfly on top of a branch just to add more detail to your project so love the stamp and die sets and then she also There's so much so much you guys she also has um, her stencil packs and I'll flip over so you can kind of see some of the designs. This is one that has different types of circles which are great for adding just those extra details so to your project. So you get three designs three per designs pack. Three designs per okay. pack and I don't know if you guys can see but there are three little dots um, in those stencil designs in the back there. So if you end up getting um, her traveler um, journal there you can actually add these in their storage. So they store really well because they pair well with the binder and the junk journal. So these are great. And here's another another design that she has. Ooh, Vicky is here in the chat. Hi, Vicky. So if we if there's any questions yeah. we don't know, maybe she can answer. But yeah, or if I say anything that's not correct, please correct us. Um, but happy that you were able to join us. Um, let's see what else here. These are really cool, you guys. These are her watercolor stickers. So you can actually use your watercolors. You can use um, the crayons, add a little water to them, create your watercolor, and add them to all of these stickers. You get 264 stickers in this pack. So you can really add some fun details to these, customize them for your projects, and incorporate them into anything. So love the versatility of these stickers. Are we going to see these in action? Or are we going to do anything with um, that? I mean, I can. Add some I just think, I'm, show. I'm just curious. I yeah. want to see them. Yeah, I can. You can watercolor these. Yeah, you can take. I mean, you can see I've kind of started one here. I've added a little bit of color too. So you can literally customize them to any project. So whatever color you need, you add it to the sticker, and it's perfect for your project. Um, let's see. There are some fun rub-ons here, which I don't know if you can really see, but some silver rub-ons, and then. She has her 88 sticker pack here with different sentiments, uh, different words you can add, um, obviously, to your cards, to your layouts. So she's literally thought of everything. And I haven't even jumped over to the other side yet. Um, if there's any questions about any of the products that we've already showed you, just let us know. Um, so I do see we have a couple of newbies to oh, Mixed Media here, which guys. is great. This is going to be the perfect demo for you yep. because you're going to be able to incorporate these right away yeah. in your Mixed Media. Yep. Um, and then someone did ask, and I think Vicky already answered, can you use metal dies? So yes, yes. those are, they are metal dies. Yep, they right? are metal dies, yep, um, thin metal dies. And then for anyone else who's just joining, we do have a link in the description and in the comments that will bring you to all of these products. So make it really easy for you to pick and choose which ones are right yeah. for you. So, all right, are we all gonna right. move to this side now, right? So I just grabbed her blank ink pad and then she also has um, the stamp, which has what, I don't know how many sentiments, but lots of fun little sentiments and sayings on here, which you could use obviously in your planner, add the extra detail to your, your layouts. Let's see, there's happy, there's this happened, an arrow, hello. So kind of your fun little extras you can add I to your I love product. roller stamps. Right? Aren't they so fun? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I need more of these in my life, right? Um, all right, so then there's glitter. Which, you need glitter, right? All the time, and, all the time. And just glitter. texture in general. Texture, yeah. And she has really great glitter textures here. We have the fine glitter, kind of like a, almost like a crushed glass glitter. Kind of the thicker flakes, almost, almost like, um, like uh, uh, what am I thinking of? The gold, um, little, little gold flakes. So they add really nice extra detail. And then kind of your traditional um, glitter size. So lots of fun texture within these four bottles of glitter. So and the packaging's cute. Belinda's saying it's a little overwhelming because there is so much, like just where do I begin? What are yeah. my must haves? So that's what we're gonna get to with the demo is like here's here's just from start to finish what you need to do. And, or you can just dump them out onto the table. Or dump out the ephemera <laughs> pack, that is fine. So that's coming right up. Yes. What, what you actually need to do to, to use these things so it's not overwhelming. And how to kind of incorporate them all together. So yeah, this is the ephemera pack, which obviously we've kind of dug into already, which is why it's open. But you get 40 die cut shapes in this, um, which you know have kind of different, different sayings. And we have, let's see, a little, the sweetest thing. We have my happy place. So these are great you know, 
for adding to you know any project you're working on really and they pair really nicely with her gel medium because you can use that to actually adhere these to your projects and then put a layer over to seal them in um, so i'm going to actually use one of these in my um my little mini artwork that i'm going to do so i mean i love a good little die cup ephemera pack so um what else oh this guy is really cool so this is the travel binder here which if you are wanting to take your project on the go so if you're traveling if you're, um, you know, just it's so nice here in Travis, you just want to get outside and craft, you can take this guy with you. So there's three, it's a three ring binder and it fits um, her watercolor papers that we have over there. And it also fits this really cute, I mean, come on, how that cute is, is really this? cute. Little pencil pouch. Um, so you can store all of your markers, your crayons, et cetera, in here. And it fits right into the binder. And there's four different pockets here that you can add any of your extras that you're working on. And it's really cute to look at. So you can zip I love it the up. Full gold right? foil on the front. So pretty. So this is a great piece that you can keep out, obviously, on your workspace. It's just so pretty. So I think the best example was because we were at CHA in yeah. Arizona. Mm -hmm. That's where we all traveled to, mm -hmm. Vicki was like, well, I just threw what I needed, what I was currently yep. working, you're on, working on in my art journal into this and took it on the plane with me yep. on the yep. go, or then you've got it in your hotel room. Yep. It's or all in one place. If nice you're and, nice in and the stored. school pickup line and you want to, and you're sitting in your car in. and yeah. all you've got is your little binder and you can start, you know, playing with these yeah. and have yeah. just the essentials in one little thing that you yeah. can take on the go. I think I love that's it. amazing. I love it. I love it. Um, and keeping along the lines of kind of storage, um, she also has this adorable tin here. I'm going to grab it real quick. How this is cute fun. is this little guy? So it's tools of the trade on, on the front and it's a metal tin, and when you open it, it has this little metal arm that kind of comes up and props your lid up. Move that in the little part there. Oops. And then you can put this on your workspace, store your paints, store your crayons, store any of your materials in this guy, and obviously when you're done, you just put that little arm down, close it, and you have adorable storage for all of your mixed media supplies on your space. So Super that's cute. a really cool uh, piece as well in this collection. And I think this is the last thing, the junk journal. So what I love about this guy is that everything about it is totally raw. So you can customize every bit of it. You can customize the cover so you can kind of, you know, once you've kind of mastered your mixed media and you feel confident enough, you can kind of hit that cover with exactly what you want, customize it, make it your own. You can use it for memory keeping. Um, you can use it to practice your uh, mixed media in. So love that this has totally raw, ready to customize. It comes with um, the thicker papers in here. These are arch archival. They have tabs on them, so you can, you know, if you are memory keeping, you can separate things based on your memories, based on, you know, the things that you want to document. Um, and then there are extra sheets that you can put in here. And since it is a binder, obviously, you pop it open. You can plop in um, extra sheets. You can take sheets out if you like something that you've worked on. You want to frame it. You can pop it right out, frame it. Um, so yeah, I really like that this has the ability to just be customized from like front to back. So. <sighs> we missed one. What did we miss? Oh, because we were talking oh about gosh, it right before right. we went live. You're we right. Were, we were talking about this right. product. This is you're a right. really cool one. Okay. So I don't think we actually saw that. I think we saw this in her video. This is the reactive tissue paper. So it may look like regular tissue paper, but oh no, no. This guy reacts to water. So I'll show this a little bit later, but basically what I did is I took my tissue paper, I just ripped pieces. You can obviously cut them into different shapes that you want, um, but I just ripped pieces of paper, put them on top of the paper, misted it with water, let it kind of dry a little bit, and then I peeled the paper off and the color was left on the paper. How cool It looks is like watercolor. That? Right? Isn't it looks it like so you watercolored cool. that. That's really awesome. I mean, just think of all the fun backgrounds you could do with this. Um, you could use this technique on the front of your junk journal just to kind of make it look like kind of a watercolor effect using tissue paper. And is Sophie that? asked, this comes with, the junk journal does come with the paper yep. in yep. here. Yep. Then there's refills that refills. you can get for it yep. once you've gone through the one that it comes with. Yeah. So. so I'm sure I've missed a couple of things, but that's the majority of uh, the products that are in this line. Oh, I almost forgot her 12 by 12 paper pack. I'm talking about it and the butterflies. This paper pack is gorgeous, you guys. Let me just quickly flip through this and move this out of the way. Um, so as you can see, you know, there are 
kind of butterflies throughout. Um, all of the colors match all of the, the colorants in her line. So once again, pairing really well together. Ooh, I really She's like the this. the florals. Has little polka dots little on polka the dots background. throughout. Um, and obviously little cut-ups here you can use to add to your project. So really, really fun, really pretty um, designs in this pack. So lots of things you can do with it. Um, pair it with all of the products. In this, you get uh, 36 sheets in this pack. So. Love this. And then there are a couple of adhesives that she has. I don't know if we have on display right now, but she has um, some double-sided tape. She also has some foam dots. And I think that's it. Correct me if I'm wrong, Vicki, but she has literally, I, I keep saying, she has you covered from start to finish. She yeah. really does. She has you covered from everything you need to get started, all of the in-between, and then all the finishings. And so. there's more to come, she just said. So oh. this is just the beginning. This is the, beginning. the, this is the launch mm -hmm. of this amazing line, and there's more to come. She also has how-to videos coming. Yeah. We've done some videos yes. as well. Yes. So we did sort of an overview of this collection, which is already on our Facebook page. And then we have some inspiration videos and product videos yeah. all coming soon as well. Um, many of them can already be found on our website. Yeah. When you go to the link where all the products are, you'll see those videos. So, um, But before I jump into um, the project I want to show you guys, which is kind of my first I feel like real start to finish mixed media project. Um, I want to quickly show you guys a card that Claudia created um, using some of the products in this line. So let's take a look at that. All the fun layering, it's so bright and colorful, and I actually have the finished card right here. Actually, I don't know if that's the right one. She has two. Um, but so much fun incorporating all of the elements in there, and I love that she added the glitter, that kind of that glass glitter to the center of the flowers to give it a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of shine. I so love fun. that. And I know Carrie asked, I was looking at yeah. the comments during the video, if we have the blender sponge. We do. Yes. We do. I totally forgot to show that. So this is a blender sponge. And that's what she was using in that video for yep. the most part, layering yep. the acrylics, Just right? Kind of rubbing everything in. You can use it um, with the art crayons to kind of rub them in. Um, so yeah, this little guy is great. It's nice and soft and squishy. Reminds me and of the, like those makeup sponges. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's great for, as Claudia used in her video, for kind of blending your planes paint to adding them to your stencils or using them to kind of blend um, the art crayons together. Sophie asked, is this my birthday card? Is it your birthday? We could probably oh, send it. Have a birthday. If it is, yeah. <laughs> we have two here. We can send you your birthday card. Happy birthday. All right. So any Who other wants questions? to see Megan, a beginner mixed media artist, use these products? Yeah. I think that's actually the perfect way to go. Because right, right. Because a lot of you, I think, are probably beginners too, right? So. I think so. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So what I'm going to start with here is a piece of, um, of chipboard. Um, obviously, you could use wood, anything else, but I wanted to go with kind of a heavier chipboard um, for this project. And I cut mine down to 5x5 five five because I felt like I needed to just kind of start little before I you know, decided to do something massive as far as uh, artwork. So I wanted to start small so it wasn't overwhelming. So I just went with the 5x5, five five, but obviously, you can cut this down um, to whatever size you want. And then, as I mentioned before, there is this gesso, which is great for preparing your surface. So I want to make sure that I add enough gesso to this guy so I can add all my colorants, so my paints, my crayons, etc. So we'll just take a paintbrush here, and then we're just going to add a layer of gesso to the top of this. And gesso really is kind of magical. I feel like uh, 
It's kind of like always going to be your base. It's right? always going to be. It's kind of where, you know, someone mentioned like, what do I need? I feel like gesso is one of those things that's a must because it's what you're going to use to prep the majority of your surfaces depending on what you're working on. Um, so it's going to keep all of your paints and watercolors, et cetera, from seeping through. Um, it's like your sealant. It's kind of your, it's your base. Like you said, it's your base. It's your place to start. So you're going to cover your entire surface with your gesso and then obviously you're going to set it aside to dry, which I already um, prepped one, so you don't have to sit through me drying it, but I took mine and I dried it, so mine here is now dry. So once you've had it dry, you can move on to the next step. Let me just wipe my hands off real quickly. Um, so the next part is actually really kind of fun. So as I mentioned before, um, the art crayons you can use with, um, with water. So we're gonna start with the art crayons, and I'm gonna grab, I did the pink, which these are basically like an yeah. oil pastel, right? Yes. So, yes. so it's going to be like a creamy, creamy blend. blend. So I'm going to do the pink and I'm going to do the yellow. And then this is where I feel like mixed media gets really fun because there are no rules, right? It's kind of whatever your mind wants to do, but however you want to create, you just kind of go with it, which is mm -hmm. why I think a lot of us get intimidated because we're like, I don't know where to start. It's kind of like start wherever you want and just kind of let it, let, let's see where it goes, right? So I'm going to actually take some yellow and I'm just going to scribble it. This is the fun part. I'm just going to kind of scribble it on my piece of art here. Just kind of scribbling, adding a generous amount of color because I'm going to go back in there with my paintbrush and actually activate that so it looks more like watercolor. So and there's no method to this madness, right? Literally no just, method, which is why it's, color down. Which okay. is why it's so... Like Miles could do this, exactly, my three-year-old. <laughs> exactly, which is why it's so user-friendly because you can just kind of go with it. And that's what makes mixed media so cool is that there are no rules. It's just kind of whatever you make it, right? There's no... I mean, you'll see this one is actually different than the first one um, that I did as far as where I'm laying the color down because it doesn't have to be you know, precise, you just kind of go with it. So now that I have my color down, I'm gonna add a little more yellow over here. I'm gonna set those aside and then I'm actually going to dip my paintbrush in some water here. And you'll see, look at that, it's starting to react with the water from my brush. Isn't that so fun? So while you're kind of blending that out, I'm I'm reading the comments here as well. Vicky says the art crayons work like a pastel yep. water watercolor crayon. Add with glaze to make glittery. Ooh, ooh, that might be a technique for next time for me as I expand my mixed media horizons. So, all right, so I'm just kind of blending that in, kind of going at it, and you can always go in with. Um, yeah, there's a ton of pigment. Ton in this. of pigment, and you can always go in um, with. Uh, a paper towel if you've added too much water to kind of blot a little. Um, I'm just gonna clean my brush off here and go into the yellow. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness. But then as I get close to the two colors, they kind of blend and create that really pretty kind of orange color there, which is almost like a little barrier, like a little wall between the two. Is that so fun? Look at that, look at that yellow. How bright and colorful is that? Isn't that so pretty? And as I kind of go between here, I get that little kind of yellowy, or I'm sorry, orange. Um, kind of barrier. All right, now I'm gonna add a little more there, add a little more there. I'm gonna take this up where I kind of kind of cross my paths there. All right, so now that I have my watercolor down, I'm actually gonna hit this with, um, with my heat, heat gun just, just to kind of dry it a little bit. So if there's any questions, now is the time to ask while I kind of dry this up a little bit. Anyone have any questions? Um, Lisa was wondering how you add it to the glaze. We've, we haven't tried that one yet, but... I would imagine you probably, and correct me if I'm wrong, Vicki, I imagine you probably cut a little bit of the crayon off, kind of mash it, maybe add a little water to kind of create a little bit of a paste, and then kind of kind of fold your glaze in to, to get the color. Is that yes. correct? Susan said she just ordered a little bit of everything. She can't wait to get the journal and the binder. I love the journal and the binder. And especially because everything is kind of meant to work within it. So even the stencils that we showed have the holes and that can go in your journal yep. or it can go in your binder. The pencil case that we showed also fits in, in either of those. The, the paper refills can fit in both. So it's really nice yeah. how everything, everything kind of fits works together. together. And I know Vicki mentioned that there's more to come. And I can't even imagine how she's going to expand upon the current line because there's so much fun. So are you thinking more colors? Can we get a sneak of you know what you're doing? Yeah, what's, what's new? What's to come? What can we expect from you, Vicki? Anything? 
Dorothy said she just got here. What is happening? So what, what is going on? I have a hair dryer in my hand. I'm drying. So for Dorothy and anybody else who just joined, we are debuting the Vicki Buten collection from American Crafts. It is mixed media for everyone. Everyone. Everything mix and matches really well. It's easy enough for beginners, but also high enough quality for your seasoned mixed media artist. Everything is available at Blitzy today. We have the link in the comments, as well as in the description of this video, so you can check out the sale. But we're just doing some demos of the products yeah. here and answering questions that you might have. So if you see anything that you wanna ask questions on, just let us know. Let us know. All right, guys, so next up here, I am gonna take one of the stencils, and I'm grabbing. She just said, good stuff is coming. Good stuff, <laughs> all right, you heard it. It's good stuff, More I to like come. it, I like it. All right, so I'm actually gonna grab from um, this pack of stencils, which has uh, different styles of kind of circles on it. And I will say that this is actually the second time we've run the sale. We just didn't do the video the first time. Right. The stencils were the first to go. They were The gone. designs are great, you guys. So These, they're if you very, want the stencils, yep. I would say jump on it. They're very, very on trend as far as, um, I feel like, kind of designs that are hot in the world right now. You have your circles, you have your geometric shapes. Um, so it's really cool. Um, Really cool designs, really fresh designs. And you'll be able to use them over and over, over again. Over and over. Okay, so I'm going to go with, what did I do here, the orange. So I'm using the orange paint from kind of the warm colors and then this kind of more swirly circle uh, stencil here. And then I'm just going to kind of lay it off to the side, off to the corner. I'm going to lay down a little bit of color on my mat. Let me grab my brush, dip that in, and then I'm just going to kind of work that color in. And like another reason I really kind of like the idea of mixed media is even if you feel like I made a mistake, I got out of lines, I feel like that's kind of the look, right? Like it's just kind of like, it's very artful. It's kind of- It's like experimenting, experimenting and seeing what you like and right, seeing what works. Right, and seeing kind of what you like. And you know, if I, if I lift the stencil up and I decide, you know what, I feel like I need to add more, I can go in and I can add a little more. It's just kind of building your layers until you feel like you have exactly what you want. So that's what's great about it is there's no need to be intimidated. It's really creating what you feel at that moment, right? So, so, so far all you've done is you've added a gesso base. Gesso, yep. And then you're adding color on top. So mm -hmm. you started with the oil pastel mm -hmm. crayons, the crayons. And now you're adding some acrylic paint. Paint so with a stencil. So it's just base, color, with your stencil. Yep, now I'm so adding. So that's a little bit of I'm layering. adding a little bit of extra kind of detail. So I'm gonna do the same thing kind of over in this, this kind of pink section here. Once again, no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of throwing that stencil down. And I don't know, Vicki, if you have any tips for people that are getting started, like is there kind of, you know, not rules, because I feel like it's a kind of a ruleless craft, but if there's any kind of helpful tips and tricks of getting started that you can kind of pass on, I think people will probably appreciate that coming from you who kind of does this all of the time. I'm getting started, but feeling like, you know, I'm starting to feel pretty confident, but maybe you have some, some helpful tips you can share. Um, she's she set, has a lot of how-to videos coming. I can't wait for awesome. those. So now is the time. Pick up the products. We've got videos coming. Vicky herself has mm -hmm. videos coming. So you'll have tons of inspiration to, to choose get, from. Yeah, to get going once you have these products actually at your house. Okay. So now I've added some acrylic paint. I'm gonna quickly kind of hit that with my. Hope you guys can see that. I have a little bit of orange in the corners. For those of you who are ordering, I do want to set a reminder that we have free shipping worldwide. The thresholds vary on what country you're in, but we do ship within one business day. So these go out the door real quick. Depending where you are, you'll have these in, in no time. So by the time the videos are live, you'll have your products. So much fun. And as Katie mentioned, if you do um, start drilling into the actual sale and the actual products, um, you'll see some of the inspiration videos uh, that we did. I did um, a layout for my twins' first birthday using a lot of the items from Vicky's line. Um, I did this little mini artwork, and then I did I did a card, and then Claudia did I think a journal. And actually, you might want to show this while I'm drawing. If you open up to the bookmark page, it's um, the page oh, that yeah. Cla Claudia incorporated into um, her bullet journal. So this, I actually saw this video um, once it got edited. She these are all from the collection, yeah. right? And I forgot so to mention there are washi tapes, and I think these are actually 
washi tapes that are in the collection as so well. So you can do a planner slash bullet journal yeah. layout using this. And these are the stamps, Yep, right? those are the stamps from, uh, I think, of the Happy Birthday collection. And then the circles behind those, those are the art crayons. And then I think she used the markers um, to add the, you know, the kind of the extra yeah. details there. And then even, even the, the to-do. Yeah. yeah, she even used the roller stamp for the to-dos. Yeah. There. So yeah, isn't that so fun? That is. So literally, like we said, you can literally incorporate this in any uh, any project that you kind of you know you kind of lean towards. So depending on you know what you prefer, this really can be used for anyone. And like I said, I'm kind of like a home decor person, so I love that these stencils are so trendy and, and like obviously making my little mini artwork. All right, that's still a little wet, but it's fine. All right, so I got a little bit of paint on your bullet. That's journal. okay. That is fine. Comes right up. So now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, ah, I would have maybe added a little bit more of color there, but that's fine. But that's what's great. I can go back in if I want and add a little more color. But moving right along, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take another one of the circle stencils. And this one has kind of the more uniform um, circles. And I'm going to lay it on top of the pink there. And this is, a, I feel like, kind of like a mixed media technique that I see all the time, and I was pretty excited to try it myself. You kind of pull the color up. Since this is um, water reactive, um, I'm going to use a baby wipe to actually kind of remove that color. And you'll see it's going to be kind of like a either a light pink or a white background once I do that. So I'm just taking a good old baby wipe. I'm going to lay it on top of the stencil. I'm going to kind of put it on my finger and use my fingers kind of the tool. And then just rub it on top of there and you'll see it's lifting lifting that color right off oh, yeah. of my camera. It's just kind of lightening it up a little bit. I'm rubbing. There's really no method to my madness. I'm just kind of going in a circular motion, just lifting up that color until I have it totally off. All right. And then I'm going to peel it back. Fun, right? So easy, simple. All I use is a baby wipe. Love that. All right. And then to add, you know, some kind of, I don't know, contrast to it, I'm going to take the black marker from kind of the um, the neutral pack here. And you could do gold, you could use any color you want. I'm going to do black. And I'm going to take my stencil over it again, but I'm going to kind of align it so it's a little, a little off center there, so I don't get a perfect circle around the circles I just did. I'm going to kind of move it off to the left. And then take my marker. Clever. Just this is going to look add good. the interest, right? You know, I'm, I'm trying. Uh, and then I'm just going to turn. He says, you got this. See? I appreciate that, Vicky, because like I said, I'm a I'm Does a it make you nervous that Vicky's watching you? Kind of, because <laughs> I feel like she's like an expert at this and I'm trying to like, you know, demo her product. Like, here's how I use it. So I'm I'm happy to hear that I'm on track. So well, thanks, we'll Vicky. have to do another one with Vicky here yes. on with yes. us. So she yes. can show us some tips. When exactly. maybe when some of those new products come out or in a couple weeks, we'll we'll figure something exactly. out. Exactly. So as you can see now I have kind of a little bit of, you know, a little bit a little bit of interest up in that corner there. Um, and then next, I'm going to take, let's see, I have a quote that I was going to use. Where is this, actually? Um, I'm going to take one of the quotes from the ephemera pack, and I'm going to take that gel medium that we talked about earlier, and I'm going to just put a little bit on the back to actually glue, um, to glue this down. So it's real simple, just take a little, little brush, Add to the back there, and then this is what's going to kind of anchor that ephemera or that die cut piece to my artwork. And I'm just going to throw that in the middle. I probably should throw it to the side for interest, but I'm just going to slap it there in the middle. Slap it down, and then what I could do once this is dry is actually take more of that medium and go over the top just to kind of seal everything in. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the main gist. And then what I did is I took. I don't think I have any more of them, but I took one of her pretty little binder clips here. I think I forgot to mention. And I just clipped it to the top so I could um, actually hang it. Um, the one that I did, I kind of got a little out of control and I ended up die cutting and painting and then adding the, the die cut flowers off to the side. Just That's so pretty. To, just to add a little, a little extra oomph to it. Um, so you can see this is what the second one that I did. I think I have a, a couple here. You can see they're all slightly slightly different, um, which is why it's so great because no no mixed media design is ever the same because techniques change and the way that you place color down changes. So you can see three different times that I kind of started, kind of did this project, 
three different looks, similar, but all different as far as where I laid the color down. So super simple, um, and hopefully you guys could see how nicely all of these colors, all of these products kind of work together um, to make you an expert mixed media artist. Well, maybe not an expert quite yet for me, but on my way, hopefully. On your way. And Vicky, way. yes, we will make it happen where we'll have another Facebook Live with Vicky here. If you guys yeah. are interested in that, let us know in the comments so we make sure that it, it actually happens. Um, and then I'll quickly show you guys the layout that I did for my kid's birthday. So I did um, up here, the yellow is actually the paint. The pink is um, the crayon that I use, and then I just kind of did some circles with the marker. This was a sticker from the watercolor pack that I just kind of added a little bit of pink to to make it a little bit lighter. This, I used the swirly stencil on a piece of paper with the yellow paint and then cut it out in a circle. The paper behind here is from that die cut ephemera pack. The one is from the watercolor pack, and then this date was from, I think, the watercolor pack as well. And then I used that black marker to anchor it, and I used the, the um That's the like my favorite media. picture ever. I love that. Chaos. Always <laughs> chaos at my house with two one-year-old twins, but this was from their birthday. So um, as we mentioned before, you can really kind of take all of the products in this line and really kind of tailor them to what you make, what you prefer to craft, um, and it will all work beautifully together. So... Anything else I need to show? I mean, we've barely even scratched the surface. I know. There's so many things that we haven't yeah. even opened. I it's know. so much fun. Like these little clips. And it's just fun to play and, you know, add your base, add your colors, add some texture. We didn't even get into yeah. adding the yeah. glitters yeah. and I the I could have added flakes. glitter, you know, maybe to like the corner or the, the bottoms here of my of my circles. I could have added to the middle of my flowers. I could have just done like a little yeah, smattering like of Claudia gold up in the corner. We did show that yeah. a little bit on the card on the video where you know there was a little bit of texture added mm -hmm. to the middle of the flowers. But there's just so much and that's why we did extra videos yeah. as well. So we'll be posting those throughout the week. Go to blitzy.com, uh, follow the link that we have in the comments and the description because then when you click on the products, you'll actually yeah. see the videos that go with that product yeah. too. But yeah. we'll, be, we'll be sprinkling them throughout social media as well. But so you can get a good grasp right now, yeah. go to that sale and you'll see. And then like Vicki said, she has a lot of great videos coming out as well. So I can't wait for those. I know. I'm, we'll and I'm even more interested guys. in what's coming next. But hopefully you guys um, can see now that, you know, mixed media doesn't have to be scary. And with these products, it really makes it simple. Um, and you can really kind of embrace that like inner creative of just kind of going with it and have it turn out and look really pretty because the products themselves are really and pretty. colorful and colorful. I it's like so colors. cheery and bright. So, so. well, thanks Vicki for joining yeah, us in the Vicky. chat. We'll get something set up soon where we can have her live here for you guys. Let us know if you want to see that. And we'll be back next week with yeah. Faber Castell, Faber -Castell. which we'll, there'll be a little bit more mixed media mixed in media. that. So right. we're excited for that. Thanks for joining us guys. Bye. Check out the link and we'll see you soon. Bye.